Actually, the first structural damage we even saw was probably a uh, gas station, the canopy was blown over. You never know what to expect, but once you start getting into the actual work, it's no different than what we would do here in a storm situation. Trees taking wires down. Palm trees, bamboo trees. Obviously, we don't have that stuff up here. We did encounter one where we kind of had to go through a swamp. We didn't really know what to prepare for, if we're going to run into any type of snakes or alligators. I threw away a pair of boots when I got back. They're done. <laughs> I ran into um, actually two different people that have been to my hometown, the Dells. A couple people used to go to school at Madison or grew up around the Milwaukee area, and they were happy to see people from Wisconsin come down. And then just the kind of disbelief from some people that don't aren't from this area, and they'll see the Madison Gas and Electric on the side of the truck, and then you know you can kind of see them wandering around to look at the license plate to see where the license plate's from, and then they kind of give you that weird look like. You're really all the way from Wisconsin. And I mean, everybody we encountered was, was great. You know, like I say, very appreciative. Always offering water or anything. You know, you guys hungry, you need anything. You know, and I'm thinking you're the ones out of power. You know, those people were without power for upwards of 11 days, you know, 13, 12 to 13 days even. By the time we left, I obviously had a lady cry, start crying when we showed up that the power was coming back on. This was my first time to do an opportunity like this. and. It's something I'll remember the rest of my life.